So as we can see, the X allocate pool with tag function is used to allocate pool memory. I it returns a pointer to the allocated block. We can see the third argument is specifying the actual tag. And the first argument is used to specify the actual type, like non-page pool or page pool. Microsoft maintains a list of all the pool tags. This is used by WinDBG in order to know and show you what pool tag is defined. If you look for pool tag.txt, after you in, you've installed WinBag, you'll see it, or you can search for that specific file name online. You'll see the actual pool tag, what kernel module it is in, and the actual description for that pool tag. This is the syntax to actually set a breakpoint with a condition. So in the kernel case, we'll use BA E1 to set a breakpoint on execution instead of BP. But then basically you use the if syntax with like the condition and then the actual command you want to execute if the condition is true. If you need to set several conditions, you can use the ampersand to say it's an and condition or a vertical bar like a pipe if you want to say it's an or condition. A single character is good enough when you deal with the actual registers. So let's set a breakpoint on x allocate pool with tag. We see it hits right away due to an allocation in the kernel. Let's look at the different register. As defined by the actual prototype, the pool type defined the actual type of the allocation. In this case, 512, which is 200 in hex, indicates non-page pool NX. Then we have the actual number of bytes for the allocation. And finally, we have the actual pool tag. We can see it's BNDN. Now let's continue execution until the function return. Can you step out or GU to the debugger? Now let's analyze the actual allocation with the bang pull command. If we look at the actual help for this pull command, we can see it accepts flags after. And if you use two, it's going to cause the display to just show the one you actually want that you specify with the address. If we actually use pool rx, it's going to actually show different allocations around that allocation, which can be quite verbose. The one that corresponds to the actual allocation you're interested in is with a star in at the very first. If you just use two, it's just going to show the one you're interested in. So we can see from the pull tag that ND and B is actually not documented into the pull tag. And that's why it doesn't say any pull tag because it says unknown, it doesn't know it. So now let's modify our breakpoint to actually ignore this pull tag. So we modify our breakpoint to actually have a condition. If this is the pull tag we've already seen, we just continue execution. So we're hitting another breakpoint. Let's continue execution. We can see in this case we reach a WFP NBL info container. 
in the NetEIO that says So now let's ignore this other pull tag we've just seen. We're going to use the pipe to indicate the OR. All right. If you don't see any allocation right away, you can go on your target VM and just try to click. It should be quite slow and maybe not responding, but at least it will try to force some allocations. The reason it's not responding is mainly because the debugger and the breakpoint is actually hitting a lot. So it's quite slow. Now let's look at the actual R8 tag and continue execution until it exits the function. We can see this one is related to an export driver for the Windows Featuring Platform component. Again, let's ignore that new RX. In the equal as well. We're hitting again the breakpoints. Here we see is defining an IO MDL. And see it's actually calling the IO allocate MDL. So probably it's allocating an MDL object. You could continue to actually analyze pull tags. Also you could try to match them to the Virgilus object. For instance, for MDL look for MDL, you'll find the actual object that is probably allocated by IO allocate MDL. 